Hey everyone, I am coming at you from my car again because uh, I'm waiting on a patient. Thought I would knock out my vlog for the week. Um, so today I wanted to talk about um, something that recently happened while I was actually driving um, to see a patient. I was driving and uh, I was on a back country road, which they are very rare to find here in Dallas. Um, but I was in a territory where there was actually, it was like kind of backwoods and, uh, there was a turtle that was scuttling across the road, uh, right. He was like right in the middle of the road when I went past him and I got maybe a quarter mile past and I realized I'm like, that poor turtle is going to get smashed if, uh, he doesn't get off the road. And so... The compassionate animal life lover in me, I turned around and I went back and uh, a farmer actually beat me there. So this farmer in a pickup truck had already pulled over to the side of the road and he had picked up the turtle and I got there as he's walking off the road with the turtle in his hands. Now he's holding the turtle and uh, up with both hands and the turtle is just kicking and moving his head back and forth, really wanted to get free. The turtle was totally pissed. Like the turtle was like, get your hands off of me. How dare you lift me up off of my perfectly fine path that I was on to put me who knows where. And uh, so the guy sat him down. I was like, ah, you beat me to it. We talked a little bit. He's like, yeah, this turtle is going to get killed. I was like, yeah, exactly. That's why I came back too. So I went on my way. It got me thinking though. Um, about all of the different things that happen to us as humans that really depend on our perspective in how we're looking at things in determining whether or not it's a good or a bad thing for us. Uh, when that turtle was on the middle of the road, that turtle thought that everything was completely fine. Did not understand why he needed to um, be moved. And so when it happened, it was a completely new, new shift for him towards something that he was unfamiliar with. And, uh, in all accounts to him, from his perspective, it was hindering his progress and where he wanted to go in what he wanted to do. And he will never know that that thing that some human came up and did to him uh, by moving him and altering his course in life was actually the best thing for his life at that moment. Had that farmer not come up and picked him up off of the road, there is a solid chance that he would be turtle guts all over that road right now. And so there's a lot of stuff that we go through similarly where we don't understand why it has to happen. We don't understand the significance behind it. We just know that it's frustrating to us because it changed things up and it took us out of the path of uh, action that we were on, that we thought was the best thing for us. And sometimes we can really get frustrated and discouraged and we can start to question life and God and everything when these types of things happen. And so just similarly as... We, as humans, clearly have a better perspective on reality and, and where everything is and what's best for something versus a turtle. As we clearly saw what that turtle didn't see as far as for protecting it and keeping it safe, the same thing applies uh, to us in our lives if we really think if, if you believe in God, if you believe that God exists, then you have to agree that there is a higher perspective than your own that controls things or that can move things into place. Now, if you don't believe in God, you can still believe that in the midst of your circumstances, something can happen to you and you can react to it in one of two ways. You can react to it in a positive way or you can react to it in a negative way. Either way, what has just happened to you isn't going to change. One of my uh, really good friends, 
he's got a tattoo of uh, a, a no symbol and spilled milk in, inside of it. The saying is no crying over spilled milk. And if something is done, it's done. The, the question is, what will you learn from the event that you just went through? And another question is, how will you respond to the event you just went through? These are the only things that we can do. And crap's going to happen in life. That's how it is. You're going to have a rough time doing anything. Then you're going to have some really great times. But I'll tell you this, whatever the circumstances are, I can guarantee you if you look at things in a more uh, in, in a more optimistic manner, things are going to go for you better than they would if you look at them in a, in a pessimistic manner. Matter. If nothing else, you've got, say you've got two people going through the exact same scenario. One of them is pessimistic about it and angry and ticked off about how everything went, didn't that he or she didn't like it, and they're complaining about it and they're going through it in resistance and in opposition to it and in protest to it versus another person who went through the exact same thing and they're saying, I'm choosing to find out what I can learn from this scenario so that that way next time something comes up, I'm gonna be that much better at it. So therefore, through that viewpoint, this is a success for me. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna become better this day and the next day and the next day after that with this new knowledge of reality under my belt. That person is going to go through a better form of reality than the, than the pessimistic, negative, depressed, Eeyore person that went through it and doesn't have anything good to say. So consider that next time something's going on in your life, take control uh, to take control of your outlook, to look at a bigger perspective, find the good in everything. There is always good. There's always a success. There's always something to be learned in every situation. Keep that focus. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, I'm going to bring these out every week, if not more. Um, write to me on Facebook. I've got a page, Believe You Me. Go ahead and like that. That's where I post a lot of this stuff, as well as other commentary on life, politics, uh, nerdy science uh, technology stuff and uh, just continue watching. I'm doing a lot of this in promotion for some books that I will be releasing soon and some music that I'm working on. We'll be getting you some music out this year. Can't say for certain when, but it's going to happen. Anyways, love you guys. Have a great week. Talk to you later.